But first, covering the aftermath of Sally. Good evening and welcome to ABC Action News at 5. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Lauren St. Germain in for Wendy tonight. The former Cat 2 hurricane left behind downed trees and power lines and devastating flooding. Our Forrest Saunders is on the ground in Pensacola. He joins us now live with the latest on the cleanup. Forrest. Well, I can tell you this, today is all about cleanup here in the Florida Panhandle, specifically out here in Pensacola where I'm standing. Sally was flooding streets last night. It damaged buildings, and as you can see, it just devastated this harbor. The sights and sounds of recovery are filling Pensacola as this Gulf Coast community reels from a storm that seemed to catch everyone here by surprise. The storm stopped and then changed direction at the last minute and you know we were all prepared for a tropical storm and we weren't expecting this. Kathy Struchin found her sailing academy of 20 years smashed to pieces at Palafox Pier. Boats there pushed on top of each other, some finding the bay's bottom. Thoughts and prayers weren't going to cut it, she said. We've all heard too much of that, so send supplies, send love, send people when we can get things back and running. Across town, power out, water service cut off, but family, friends, and neighbors were working to pick up debris and put their lives back together. Right about now is, is, is a good thing to be more neighborly. Eddie Smiley was helping fix his nephew's roof, punctured by a downed tree. The two feeling lucky damage wasn't worse in a year that keeps delivering blows. It's all this chaos, and on top of that, you get a storm. A different kind of storm at the gas pumps. The few with power packed with people, grabbing all they could. This is some kind of aggravation trying to run all over the country finding gas. Bill Wiley was frustrated after spending the morning searching for fuel. The Floridian saying better preparation should have been made. It is terrible. They Somebody has dropped the ball. Now, the president has issued an emergency declaration for this part of Florida, and what that means is it's going to free up more money and resources for this community to recover. That's the latest out here in Pensacola. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.